Hey Capricorn, what's going on? So this is going to be a reading for you guys. I hope everyone is doing well. So if you have a Capricorn anywhere in your chart, this reading could resonate with you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Or it could resonate for the cross watcher, okay? So let's see what's going on with Capricorn right now. Holy Spirit and Angels, what's going on with Capricorn? Alright, so we got travel and divine masculine. So there could definitely be a divine masculine out here traveling. Alright, so where's the divine masculine going? Someone could want to travel to you. Um, a divine masculine may want to travel to you. What's going on with Capricorn? Or, yeah, Capricorn. Or you have the the um, energy to travel anywhere you please as a divine masculine. Someone here wants you back. Someone here could be like waiting for you to get to them or something, but you're probably not trying to get to them right now or... Yeah, someone wants a divine mask on to hurry up and come home. Okay, so we have bluff here, pretending mask and exaggeration. So I guess someone is pretending like they're not in this energy, okay? What else for Capricorn? Obsession. This person is actually obsessed and they're pretending like... So this could be a feminine out here or it could be another masculine, but they're actually addicted or... They're pretending like they don't want somebody or whatever this is. Yeah, this person is hiding a lot. Elusive, dishonesty, deception, and trickery. Secrets, mysteries, and concealing. This person has a lot of secrets about being a thief and they're real threatened. So yeah, this could be a Capricorn in your energy or you are the Capricorn. Masculine, you may have a, a karmic Capricorn around you. I don't know. But they're bluffing. They're acting like they're not obsessed or they're not codependent. And they're very codependent right now. They just don't want you to see it because, I don't know, maybe you got a lot of things going on. Okay. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn in this reading. Let's clarify travel for Capricorn. Travel for Capricorn. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands. You could definitely be someone that's traveling here. You could have a lot of fire in your chart here. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles reverse, Knight of Cups reverse, and the World reverse. You may have family members out here that don't like this or they feel like they're losing a lot because of this. What's the Queen of Wands for Capricorn? You have a lot of confidence or something and someone is like, they don't like this about you, Capricorn. What's the Sun reverse for Capricorn? Yeah, the Empress reverse. There's some female here. You may also have a mother figure around you that don't like you traveling a lot or they don't like your feminine. Someone can't travel anymore or something, or they can't go anywhere. So they're upset. I don't know if you have a feminine that you're attracted to, but they don't want you to go towards that person. What's the Empress reverse for Capricorn? It's a mother figure somewhere. I always pick up weird mother figures in Capricorn readings. I don't know why. We have the star out here, Aquarius energy, Queen of Swords reverse. Five of Swords, Six of Wands reverse. Yeah, so someone's trying to defame someone's character, start a smear campaign about this woman that you may want to go towards, Capricorn. They don't want you having any sort of confidence right now. What's the star for Capricorn? Yeah, straight, um, Temperance here. Sagittarius energy. You could be a Capricorn with a lot of Sagittarius in your chart. Or they do. So you're healing, you're an earth angel. Someone is mad that someone wants to travel to the earth angel, okay? They're trying to block it or, yeah, they're really burdened. It's like, that's all they worried about. That's all they're worried about. What's divine masculine? There's a divine masculine that may want you back. They're pretending like they don't want you, but they do. And they also have some sort of feminine around them that they have to pretend like they don't. Yeah, someone has to wear a mask and pretend like they don't want you. This is your divine masculine or you're this masculine doing this. What's the Divine Masculine for Capricorn? Two of Pentacles Reverse. What's the Divine Masculine? Two of Pentacles Reverse for Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, so this is your energy. You're working hard on something here. No, I'm sorry. The Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy, but you're definitely working hard on something. What's the Eight of Pentacles? You just want to stay more focused. 
You could be a divine masculine and you just want to be more focused. Yeah, okay, so the Six of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, someone got secrets. Someone got secrets. They don't want you knowing. They don't want someone knowing something. What's the Six of Pentacles reverse for Capricorn? Four of Wands. Five of Swords. Someone that you live with, Capricorn mad at your peace or they're real fake or they're really offended by you being at peace or you just working hard traveling being stable like this is really bothering them because they're not getting something out of it they feel like you're not showing them any attention what's once you back for capricorn the magician someone's trying to manifest you back or they want you back because they see that you have gifts or something. Yeah, the Three of Cups reverse. So a lot of people don't like that this Divine Masculine wants someone back. They actually want this Divine Masculine to come back to them. There's a lot of gossip around a Divine Masculine here. What's the Three of Cups reverse? There's a bunch of rejects. Some females out here, they're rejects. Yeah, they're followers. King, Knight of Swords reverse here. What's the Knight of Swords reverse for Capricorn? Two of Wands. So there's people out here mad and trying to bully somebody because they want to have plans to go somewhere else. Look at look into that Cancer reading I did. Yeah, so someone here is just mad that someone has plans. They want to move forward or they have like a, a future that they want to go towards and someone is mad about this because it's peaceful, it's authentic, it's real. Um, there's a feminine out here mad at a Queen of Wands energy because she's beautiful, she's real. Okay. What's the uh, Two of Wands here? A mother figure. She's mad at a Queen of Wands. What's the Two of, wa two of Wands? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Good karma. So if you're a Divine Masculine and you want someone back, you can go get that person back if you want to. Or if I'm getting like, if this is a feminine, it's like you can get that person back if you really wanted to. And I feel like there's feminines out here mad about this. They don't like that you can easily attract a, this Masculine or any Masculine for that matter. Because you're attracting a Divine Masculine and he will literally drop everything to come towards you or do whatever you want, do whatever you say. And it's like there's females out here, there's third parties out here mad about this. They try to get this man to do what they say, or they trying to, I don't know, they're trying to get this man to do something for him, and he don't want to do it, or he doesn't find it celebratory. This could be a man at a party, very bored at the party, because he don't want to be there, because he's, he's hiding. What's bluff here? Yeah, six of wands reverse. It's like, that someone is not really victorious, okay? They're acting victorious, but they're not. What's the six of wands reverse? Someone's actually very embarrassed and they're trying to hide their embarrassment. Yeah, so we have three of swords with the moon here. They're hiding the fact that they're hurt here. What's the moon? Definitely third parties are around somebody and they have to act happy. They have to pretend to be happy around these third parties or something. What's the moon? Yeah, eight of swords reverse. Someone is wondering where their real partner is. They want to be with their real partner. What's the Eight of Swords reverse for Capricorn? Yeah, strength here. Also, you can tell someone's like very weak. It's like they're weak-minded, they don't have a backbone and they're being influenced by other parties here. So you're not in the energy of, you could definitely be this Queen of Wands energy here. Okay, it's like people, I don't know, it's like they're trying to, they're trying to save face wherever they're at, but they're truly obsessed with you. What's obsession for Capricorn? Yeah, the lovers. Someone wants to be with you again, Capricorn, and, and there's people around them that don't want it to be. What's the lovers for Capricorn? Yeah, two of cups reverse. They don't want to be friends with somebody or be around somebody right now. They want to be with their person. Period. So something is failing for these people. What's the two of cups reverse? Eight of wands. Someone is traveling. They're going to where they want to be. Someone tries so hard to keep someone away from you. This is uh, connecting with the cancer reading I did. Cancer is your opposite sign.
these third parties don't know what to do. They just know that they're obsessed with your masculine or obsessed with you or obsessed with trying to be you or jealous or, yeah, playing tit for tat, trying to bully, but that's all they know how to do. What's the two of wands for Capricorn? Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. I'm also getting like there's no new love happening for this masculine. He wants to go back to his old love, Page of Swords. There's nothing wrong with that. People are trying to make it seem like that's bad or something, but I feel like what's happening here is they're making something worse than what it is or something like that. It's like it's like someone has like no self love or something. You may reject this person too, is also what I'm hearing if you don't want this person, but I'm feeling like this person has not been able to move on, Capricorn. They're not gonna be able to move on. They're gonna continue to watch you and see what you're doing. Always check up on you. And these females are mad about it, so, oh well. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Yeah, so we have coffin in the reverse. New beginnings. They're not starting anything new. They're going back to where they want to be. And there's nothing wrong with that. Someone wants someone to like start something new. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, gift is here. Uh, souvenir promotion and delight. No, they want to go back to the person that they probably left on by mistake. It's the divine masculine here. I feel like they're trying to grow and focus on being stable. And someone does not want this person focused on that. Because when they're focused on that, there's only one person on their mind and that's who they want to be with. And they don't, they want this mask to be very um, reckless. Yeah, hesitation in the reverse. They want this person to like be confused. Decision, confusion, and worry. They're not worried about who they want to choose to be with anymore. Someone's trying to cause a lot of confusion. Anything else for Capricorn? Yes, we got coffee cup in the reverse here. Meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated and building a friendship. Someone does not want to start any new relationships. I don't know what that has to do with it. I feel like someone is like sending blind dates to somebody or something. And this masculine is like, ugh, I really don't want to. Yeah, seduction in the reverse. Wedding rings in the reverse. Withdrawal in the reverse or relaxation in the reverse right in the reverse and mass so someone has to like pretend like if they're on blind dates they have to pretend like they're interested in these women but they're really only thinking about you i'm also getting like a stupid mother figure trying to uh bring in new partners for this person and they don't want any of these women they don't want any of these people anything else for capricorn so the reason why you guys came out as the queen of wands here is because I feel like Capricorn, they think that you put a spell on this person. That's funny. What's going on with Capricorn? Sometimes a spell is them doing you dirty. Like if they did you dirty, they'll probably always think about you forever. And that's, that's where it all lies. If you did somebody dirty, you'll probably always feel guilty. And that's probably why they'll always come back. It's not a spell. It's if they, if it is a spell, they did the spell to themselves. We have stress, headache, pressure, and lack of sleep. So someone is pretending like they're okay in a relationship or okay in a home setting or okay at this party or whatever they're doing here and they're really stressed out. They're not okay at all. They're hiding their true feelings right now. They have to hide their true feelings around these people. Yeah, bully in the reverse. Someone is trying to bully you or something. Or they're trying to bully your partner. Embarrassment, gossip, and, un and unwillingness. It's like someone tried to send, I feel, I really feel like someone tried to send in um, a blind date for this Divine Masculine and this Divine Masculine does not want that date or they're pretending like they want it or they're just being nice to the person but they don't really want that person because they're always thinking about you and so everyone's like, oh my God, Capricorn put a spell on you, Capricorn's a witch but really it's not that, it's just how this person has done you. A Divine Masculine has done you dirty in a way. And um, it may have a lot to do with the people around them too. And they're like, yeah, this is exactly why the collector doesn't want me. The collector doesn't want me because you keep, you keep trying to confuse me. What's the message for Capricorn? Yeah, we got healing here. 
Your body, mind, and soul are in a period of deep healing right now. You're going through many transformations at once, and you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. Yeah, so it looks like there's a divine masculine trying to heal, and people are like, he has to hide the way that he feels around these women or something out here, or these men or people around them. One little sense of happiness around this masculine, and they just feel like they have to be involved, and I don't... I feel like someone needs privacy. That's what I'm getting here. Someone has no privacy around these people. All right, guys. So sure reading. Hope this resonates for you. If it does, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.